This video is about the basics of NetBeans. So let me open up NetBeans. To create a new project, go to File, New Project. Okay. Under the categories, choose Java. And from the projects template, choose Java application. Hit next. It's going to ask you for the project name. So I'm going to call this one my Java app one. So click finish. It's going to create the new, new project. Okay. So now we have a new project. When we created a new project, NetBeans created a package called My Java App One. Inside that is our main class called My Java App One. Okay. By default, the uh, the main class is gonna open up on the editor window, and it's gonna have a pre-written code for you. So I'm just gonna delete the comments. Okay, so now we're inside the main class, inside the main method. So this is where we're going to put all of our code, all of our statements inside the main method. Okay, so while learning the basics of Java, we are going to be using the main method as a placeholder for our statements. Okay, I'm going to write a hello world program. Make sure you're inside the main method. I'm gonna pipe in system dot out dot print line print ln. It's gonna have a pair of parentheses. Inside the pair of parentheses, we're gonna put in a parameter. We're gonna put in our message. So hello world. Okay. So it automatically added the semicolon to end the statement. Now we're done with the program. To run your program, you simply click on the run project button, the green play button. Okay, let's build and run. You will see the output at the bottom part of NetBeans. This is called the output window. And as you can see, it says here, hello world. So this is our Hello world program. While learning the basics of Java inside NetBeans, you just have to pay attention to three important parts of the user interface. The projects panel, the editor window, and the output window. In the projects panel, we show you the structure, the file structure of your project. This will allow you to access the .java files which then you can open and edit in the editor window. So this is where we put our code in the editor window. And we will be able to see the output on the output window. So those are the three important parts. Well, let's talk about each of these parts. So this is the file structure of your project. If you click on the plus sign after each uh, folder, it's gonna expand. It's going to show its contents. So as you can see in our project, we have two folders inside it. We have source packages and libraries. We want to open source packages. As you can see, this is the package. Expand it one more time. It's going to show you our main class. So that's the .java file, which is currently open in the editor window. You can switch between tabs by clicking on the tab. You can close the tab by clicking on the X button. So right now, there is nothing opened in the editor window because I closed it. So to open a file for editing, you simply double click on it. So let's say for example, that the projects panel is missing, the editor window is missing, also the output window is missing. So how do we bring them back? So you can bring them back by going to the menu bar window so for the project panel i just have to click on this option projects and now it's gonna bring back the projects panel okay the editor window you simply double click on the file you want to edit okay so this is the main class i'm going to double click on it it's going to open in the editor window so we're still missing the output window 
we go to the same place, menu bar, window, output. So it's going to bring the output window back. That's all for this video and I'll see you on the next one.